Hi, I'm Shane, and I want to talk to you about Roll Hexfinity. Hexfinity is a system that I designed to allow an infinite modular hex based system. And I did it because I was trying to make roll mazes that were really interesting, but also infinitely configurable. Cause I get really bored with the fixed roll mazes. I even get really bored with the, like the marble runs where you've got large chunky pieces. Cause you run the ball through those chunky pieces a couple times and it gets interesting a couple times and then it gets boring. And the way the pieces go together is not very interesting. But if we make something a little more Lego-like, a little bit more something that's built out of small pieces that you can interact together like this, all of a sudden you can make infinite possibilities and each new one is interesting. The whole is more than the sum of the parts. Why Hexfinity? I love Gridfinity. I particularly love the interlock. I tried a couple different interlocks first and then I came back around to using a interlock inspired by Gridfinity's interlock. But hexes are fundamentally different from squares. <laughs> they don't quite line up with each other. So what did I do in order to make it maximally compatible? The main thing I did was I made the edge to edge distance the same, 42 millimeters. I also make the height the same in terms of multiples of seven millimeters. Those two design criteria allowed me to design a system which was as compatible as humanly possible with Gridfinity. Shout out to Zach Friedman. It's a brilliant system and I love your videos. They're hilarious. And I wanted to make something that worked as well as possible with hexes in the Gridfinity system. But hexes are way better. Hexagons after all are the bestagons, <laughs> but they are the bestagons for this particular reason. They're the bestagons for marble rollouts because there are six sides. So there are six different inputs and output paths for marbles to go through a hexagon versus with a square, there's only four sides and there's only four inputs and outputs. And that much more limits your possibility and the interesting configurations you can do. So if you love hexagons, if you love roll mazes, particularly roll mazes with all kinds of different infinite configurability, and if you in general just love well-engineered modular systems like I do, I think you might enjoy this. Go download the file, give it a print. You can print out the small plate and give it a try, see what you think. And I think you're gonna enjoy this. And I am open sourcing all of this, including giving away rights for uh, commercialization. All I ask is you link back to me with credit for credit. Uh, I prefer if you link back to my Maker World uh, listing for this, or I may list it on other 3D model share sites. But there's also gonna be a GitHub repo, which I'll be linking to with all of the specifications. So you can make your own parts to extend the system, do it however you want. Go wild. I can't wait to see what other people do. I can't wait to print your parts and try them out with my system. I've got more parts in the pipe that I am going to be releasing shortly to expand the system. And teaser, there is going to be a storage solution using hexes. I'm working on it. All right. Thank you very much. I look forward to hearing your comments. I look forward to seeing what you think about this system. I'm so excited about it because I freaking love modular systems. I love roll mazes, particularly when I can change it up every day when I get bored. And I just happen to have fallen in love with hexagons because hexagons are the bestagons.